Right now, as you watch this video, your information is being secured in part by an algorithm called Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange. You see, often in cryptography, something called symmetric encryption is used. It works by having one computer encrypt its message using a secret key and sending the encrypted message to a second computer that decrypts it using the same exact secret key. The problem here is that both computers have to use the same exact key, but they can't just simply send it to one another because a hacker would be able to intercept it and then decrypt any messages sent between the two computers. That's where Diffie-Hellman comes in. It allows two computers to have the same exact keys without ever sending them to each other. To help you understand Diffie-Hellman, this left side will represent computer 1, which I'll call Bob. Anything on this left side is only known by Bob. On the right side, there will be computer 2, which I'll call Alice. Anything on the right side will only be known to Alice. Bob and Alice can communicate by sending messages through the middle here, but any messages in the middle are able to be seen by everyone and can be intercepted and read by a hacker. Diffie-Hellman starts off by defining two numbers that everyone can see. We'll call them P and G, and for now, P will be 23 and G will be 5. Remember that these two numbers can be seen by everyone, including hackers. Now, Bob and Alice will both generate a private key that only they can see. We'll call Bob's key B and Alice's key A. For this example, Bob's key will be 15 and Alice's key will be 6. Remember that only Bob knows B and only Alice knows A. Next, both Bob and Alice will take the public number G, raise it to the power of their secret key, and then modulate it by P. If you don't know what modulo is, just think of it as dividing the first number by the second number and taking the remainder. After Bob and Alice are done running the exponent and modulo, they'll send the modified private keys to each other. Note that by running the exponent and modulo, they've obscured their keys in a way that makes it very difficult to find the original value by looking just at the result, meaning that they can both safely send these modified keys without risking exposure to the original key. After Bob receives Alice's modified key, Bob will take Alice's modified key, raise it to the power of his secret key, and then module it by P. Once Alice does the same except using Bob's modified key, we can see that both of the expressions compute to the exact same value. Bob and Alice have successfully agreed on a private key without ever exposing enough information to let a hacker accurately guess the private key, allowing Bob and Alice to safely communicate through symmetric encryption.